it's Saturday morning, about 9.30. Rain has finally stopped. I got my scoop in my hand. I'm getting ready to put it in the truck. My buddy Les is in town from Delaware. We're going to hunt for some buttons at the land of Nada. Stand by. As I head to the land of Nada, the button patch, Beaver went to the button patch on Wednesday, found two nice British buttons. I'll have a picture of them so you can see them. Nice buttons, I mean. Uh, when Les got in town Friday, no, Thursday, he went Thursday and found a, a flat button, a, a, like a coat button, a big, big flat button and some pieces of lead and some instant, lots of incidental weird looking crap which is which, which you find at the button patch sometimes and then of course it rained cats and dogs yesterday nobody even went out beaver went last night and uh found an earring and some crap at the you know further south on the land and out of the resort area we call it other than that, it was uh, it's been kind of poor. In this, but we had a lot of wind the last two days, so I'm hoping maybe, maybe it might be some buttons around. Now, since there's been three found this week, so that's a good sign. We'll see how it goes. Well, here we go, button patch. Inbound. It's about I don't know. It's in the low to mid 40s. They claim it might get to 47 today. I don't know if it'll get there because it's kind of chilly. Overcast. But they, that's supposed to go away too. Stand by. He's parked a block south of me in a, another parking spot. I got two bottle caps. I got a couple of them. But I, I think oh, that's yeah, part yeah, of the yeah, right, yeah. And then I got these two of these damn things. That other stuff was previous. Yeah. You know. But uh, yeah, and I got a screw cap. So a Hennessy. The tide's low in about uh, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. We got a nice low tide, looks like. Let's see if there's anything down this way. Stand by. Well, so far I've dug three pennies, a little teeny battery, like a watch battery or something, but smaller than that. Maybe a hearing aid battery or something. And uh, a piece of aluminum, I think round looking thing. Les has uh, moved to the south another block further down. It's uh, kind of scarce in the land of Nada today. As I suspected it might be. I'll get back to you. So we got our first target down here by the sand. Well, I mean, by the wet sand, it's a 24. A high 26 out of the sand. I mean, hole. I see it right there. Is it? I don't know if it's a dime or a button. Stand by. That's a penny. Just a modern penny. Damn, 
I was excited for a second. Okay, back to the drawing board. I'm headed back towards where Lester to see how he's making out. I had to run away from the waves. The waves try to get me. Hey babies. Uh oh, we got a hit right here. Oh, baby, that was a close one. Oh. Now if we can find it again, we'll dig it up. We're gonna run for our life. There it is. 26. Out of there, baby. I hate it when they're deep like that. We got it that time, though. Oh, just in time, too. Twenty-four, twenty-five, probably another penny. Might be a dime this time. Yeah, ten cents. Uh huh. Pick it up. Ammo. Okay. Twenty-eight thirty, right here. We'll come back to it in a second. Are you making out? I uh, since I talked to you, I got thirty-six cents. I got a quarter. I got a quarter in this area. I think it was that hole there or that one there. I got a dime and three more pennies. And I got a penny, another zinc penny down the wet. But I did get a, a bling. Nice looking bling. Are you familiar with Michael Kaur? No. I probably am, but don't know it. it looks good, but I, I think it's junk. That's all I got uh, since I talked to you other than beer caps. Yeah. I don't know what this one is. 14 it says. Scratchy, I can tell you. I think it's a bottle cap. Oh, it's a pull tab. That's two pull tabs we got so far. I forgot to tell you about the first one. I was so excited. All right, let's go see what this other target is we got over here. Huh? This is staying in the 20s. Yeah, staying in the 20s. I know it. I think it's right here. 2830. Got it. Let's see what it is. Here. Looks like 
25 cent. Good gracious me. Man, we're on the tickets now. Look at that. Big change. Good gracious. That damn thing fell out of my hand. Get back in there, boy. Well, it's hard to pick anything up. Unless you open them up. Okay. Onward we go. Any luck, Max? Got another penny. Another penny. I'm just getting crap now. Oil, beer caps. I got a call. How about some knives? I think I'm gonna leave and go pick up some knives. All right, guys. Got ten knives. He wants me to pick up. What? Uh, do you know what time we're gonna do tonight? If I guess, five thirty or six. Five thirty or six. Okay. Hey, is there a Wendy's? Uh, going that way. I'm trying out my uh, Patriot headphones. Wants to see how they compare to his Tony Eisenhower's. He's got Tony Eisenhower's like I used to have. Yeah. An hour and 45 minutes was enough for me. I got a call. I got to pick up. Guy just called me. Wants me to pick up 10 knives. Oh, somebody's dropping off some knives with Chris. She texts me. I guess it's going to be a knife day. I'll get back to you. Well, there's the knives. He says 10 knives in there. Some Cutco's. I don't know what kind of hickles I think he told me. I'm not going to get them out now. I'm going to I'm going in and get a cup of coffee. There's one thing. As long as y'all been knowing me, there's one thing about me you don't know. You think I detect and sharpen knives, that's about it. Well, that's true. But right there, it says Q Master Billiards. I've had a passion for pool since I was 14. My mother bought me a pool table when I was 16. A hand carved white oak, full size, nine by four and a half by nine. And I had it for, I don't know, until the 80s. I put it in a storage shed along with a bunch of fishing, fishing stuff I had when I, the 80s was my financial demise. So I lost, the, I lost the shed with everything in it. But that's just another story. I like to play one pocket. This is a big pool hall. That's all I'm going to tell you. I've never been great at pool. I've been okay. But maybe one day I'll be great. Stand by. Well, I forgot to show you this this morning. This is the best of it right here. The best find. Sarsaparilla. My buddy Les, who you saw in the video, he was in Tombstone about a month ago. Only sold in Tombstone. You get wider up, you get Virgil, you get the other brother, you get Doc Holliday. I picked Virgil Earp. Sarsaparilla. Can't buy it anyplace else but Tombstone. How about that? That's a fine ticket right there. These are the knives that are in the box that I picked up at the pool hall. I think it's 10 in there. Now this one is the one that Chris had for me when I got home along with these three right here. But this one, this is a nice Wustoff right here. I'm telling you, nice. But, as you can see, it's got a fairly good uh, couple little dings in it where the guy said he tried to cut a frozen spinal something. Can you believe it? Take a nice knife like this Trying to cut a piece of frozen doodad. 
That's terrible, ain't it? But we'll get her fixed up. And there's the nut. I thought that was a battery. But it's not. It's like a rivet or something. Off a jean or something. Okay. Back to the knives. Well, I got the wood stuff all chip free and sharpened. I got all the ones in the box sharpened. And I got all the ones in the towel, the three Campton Forge knives finished. So I guess I'm finished with knives. However, three seconds ago, I had another guy call. He's bringing me up some knives. Kai, here he comes, right there, backing up. Mm, stand by. Nice pocket knife. Nice one, too. Big. He broke the tip off a little bit, and it's really dull. Okay.